dear students welcome the students of class 9 and 10 please get ready for our today's english class i am going to teach you english first paper writing part and my today's topic is story writing so from this class you are going to learn about or you are going to understand the main features of the story to explain the moral of the story and to reflect on the relevance of the story to your own life so now what is completing a story completing a story is a kind of composition or essay completing a story is the medium of testing the creativity of the students students are given some outlines with the help of the outlines students have to create a complete story now what is a good story or how can we write a good story or the features of a good story number 1 a story has a beginning a middle and an ending number 2 we must know who the character is Number 3 find out the correct tense. Number 4 describe the nouns. People, things, animals, places. Number 5 describe the actions. Number 6 write a good ending. So students you can see here that a good or good stories must have a beginning a middle and an ending we have to keep specific knowledge about the character here i have to mention one thing that tense is very important when you are asked to write a story then you have to write it in past tense you also have to explain the people things animals places and also their role in the story more clearly you have to end the story with a good conclusion so students you are watching a picture here so the picture is all about a crow and a fox the crow is sitting in a branch of a tree with a piece of meat in her beak and the fox is standing and trying to flatter the crow so students have you guessed the name of the story Yes students you are right the name of our today's story is the fox and the crow So let's start with the story One day a crow found a piece of meat took it in her beak and flew away with it in a tree so if i explain the first line of the story then one day a crow found a piece of meat and it flew away and sat on the branch of a tree next line 
Right that moment, a fox passing by saw the crow with the meat and since he was very hungry, thought of a plan meant to help him steal the meat. So, now I am going to explain the line. At that time, a fox noticed the meat in the crow's beak and the sight of the piece of meat made his mouth full of water. He thought for a while and made a plan to have it. Next line. So he sat in front of the crow and began to exclaim, Oh crow, you are the most gracious and beautiful bird I have ever seen. So if I explain the line then, the slave fox sat just before the crow and said that, O oh crow, you are the most benevolent and beautiful bird I have ever seen. The next line, let me admire you and let me hear your voice too. So, the fox flattered the crow and added that, let me praise you and I wanted to hear your sweet voice. I think you can sing nicely. Next line. It must be equally beautiful as your appearance. You, queen of birds. So in this line we can see that the cunning fox was addressing the crow as queen of birds and requested her to sing a song for him. Now, the second para and the first line, the crow was truly delighted by this compliment and she was even convinced she had a beautiful voice. So, if I explain this line then, at first the crow did not want to sing a song. But as the fox carried on praising her, she felt proud of her voice. So she opened her mouth to sing. Now, finally she started to sing a song. Next line. That moment she dropped it, the meat and the fox grabbed it right away. So now I am going to explain this line that no sooner had she opened her mouth than the piece of meat fell off from her mouth and the clever fox took it and ran away. So now the last line of the story and that is, look crow, the fox said, your voice is okay. But unfortunately, you have no wish. So from the last line of the story, we can understand that the fox says to the crow that you are more foolish than your harsh voice. You don't have enough brain to understand your inborn quality. So that's all for the story. Now I am going to the moral of the story and the moral of the story is be aware of flatters. So if I explain the moral then persons may cheat others for their selfish selfishness. We should not believe their charming words and we should not cheat others too. So it is our responsibility that we do not or we should not cheat others. And we also should not believe the flutter's charming words. So dear students, that's all for my today's class. So please stay home and follow our classes. Thank you.